Gwyneth, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. First up, I don't know whether you know this, but I have to tell you, I have a friend from Guyana, and did you know pepper pot is the national dish of Guyana? It's gorgeous. Are you serious? I'm serious. I've tried it. Her mother makes it for me, because it's apparently it's a secret recipe. And it's it's black, called pepper pot? It's called pepper pot. It's like a black sauce that takes ages to marinate. You should Google this, because it actually is called pepper pot, and it's a national dish. <laughs> I have to tell you that in case you didn't oh know. Oh my gosh. We had a babysitter <laughs> in New York for a few weeks who was from Guyana. She, well, it was a long time before I did uh, Iron Man, so she wouldn't know. But, oh, I'm going to Google that. And get her to make you some. I will. <laughs> anyway, what drew you to the role of pepper pots in the first place? Um, you know, it was kind of a convergence of a lot of things. There wasn't a script when I took the movie. John, actually John Favreau said there is a script, but it's terrible and I'm not sending it to you because that's not the movie that I'm going to make. Um, but he explained who Iron Man was and the kind of the metaphor and of, of Iron Man and his sort of metamorphosis and he explained who Pepper was and how he wanted it to be a kind of... Um, that vibe of the 1940s comedies, you know, that kind of sexually charged back and forth um, and repartee. And um, I had always wanted to work with Robert, so yeah. I said, this sounds like a great idea. And was it how you imagined it working with Robert? I mean, he's great in this movie, as you, you are, but what was it like to work with him in, in real life? It was incredible. He is um, just, he has such energy and such precision and, um, He's just, uh, he's just like a real inspiration. And you're a mom now, so like, how do you balance the kind of home life and doing movies? Do you take breaks between movies, and does it have to be a certain amount of time, or how do you work yeah, it? Yeah, it's hard. It's uh, well, luckily, you know, I I want to be home more than I want to work, um, and you know, they're they're so gorgeous, and I don't want to miss too much of their time, you know, especially when they're little. Um, so. It's, it's really trying to find a balance between that and being there, but also working enough that I feel like I can keep my toe in and, and feel fulfilled as an artist and you know work with really great people. So I'm, I'm trying to still figure it out. And she's, she's a really strong woman. Was that another reason why attracted to the character? Because she yeah. does, she kind of has the, her own, she holds her own ground, a bit of yeah. a, a great strong role, role model for women, really. Yeah, she is. I thought she was great. She was very strong. But also very giving, very loyal, very non-judgmental. I th I think she's a wonderful character. <laughs> now, what what else can we look forward to seeing you in in the upcoming coming future besides Iron Man? Um, I I did a film with James Gray, who's a filmmaker from New York, and Joaquin Phoenix, and I think it's I think they just told me that they're they're going to Cannes, so um, that will be the next thing. Excellent. Well, Gwyneth Paltrow, thanks a million for joining us on Take Six.